Hi again. Um, the knife book we're going to review today is about the training with a specific type of knife. Uh, so it's um, a little bit different from the books we've reviewed to date. The, there are books and training materials about uh, very specific weapons, for example, the Karambit knife. And uh, the knife we're going to uh, be talking about in this book is the, the balisong knife and the balisong which is a filipino uh, weapon uh, really came to prominence um, several years ago mainly through the movies uh, it was uh, portrayed and featured in uh, a lot of the martial arts movies and it became something of a fad a little bit like the nunchaku um, did uh, slightly earlier with bruce lee Everyone and his dog started training with nunchaku. Um, and the reality was that they're not a particularly um, uh, effective weapon to uh, for self-protection use. The Balisong Manual, which we're going to uh, talk about by Jeff Imada, is the book devoted completely to this particular weapon. Now, uh, I met Jeff... Uh, on the first uh, Dan Inosanto course, when, when Dan came over to the UK, I think it was 1977, uh, he had um, Jeff as a teaching assistant with him, and he was an impressive martial artist. And um, then later he became prominent uh, in movies, um, in the martial arts films, uh, in, in the fights and so on, and started really spreading the word on, on the Balasong knife. Uh, the book goes into all the technicalities, goes into the history, which, which is pretty um, uh, old. It's an old, oldish weapon. Um, it also starts with a couple of interesting um, bits of information. I think the foreword, I think, was from the publisher. Um, and... He says when they published uh, Dan Inosanto's book, Filipino Martial Arts, um, they deliberately didn't put any knife techniques in it because um, in 1976, when they published that, it, it, it was um, not really um, accepted to be training with the knife. But um, when this book was, was published, which was uh, 84, not even 10 years later, um, it was regarded as, as a lot more uh, um, uh, acceptable. And then the, so, uh, the publishers asked uh, the, the author, Jeff Imada, how he felt about writing a book on knives and knife fighting. After some soul searching, he replied, Dan... Inosanto always stressed that to successfully defend against a knife, you must first be a knife fighter. I hope the readers will look up at it from a moral defensive point of view. That's a very, very good point. And um, it, it, it's, it's one which, which I, I've endorsed uh, in, in teaching um, defense against the knife, that you've really got to know how to use a knife. Um, otherwise, you, you're not really, uh, you haven't got the understanding of how a knife's used. The um, pictures of all the different types of balisong. Um, Jeff Imada was a consultant for Pacific Cut Cutlery who made the modern balisong knife uh, because a lot of the um, traditional knives were um, very flimsy with bamboo and so on. So Pacific Cutlery made these metal ones and then there's a lot of information on blades and, and types and so on. So from that point of view, it, it, it's good. Sharpening, big section on the law, very, very detailed actually about the law, carrying the weapon and so on. Um, but then we come to the actual balisong techniques and... This is a, a spider go balisong, and at the end of the day, when you've spun it in your hand and done all, all the 
the magic tricks, you end up with this, which is not a particularly well-designed knife. And this is probably the best balisong you can buy. Spider can make good stuff. It's very strong, etc. But at the end of the day, the handle isn't particularly ergonomic and the blade's not wonderful. So for me, look at, looking at it from trying to be rational about it, there's a lot of effort involved in getting a knife into action, which at the end of the day, you could cut all that out and just carry either a folder, which is easier to get into action. Just take, for example, a Casper folder. Um, with, with training, you can open that and you've got a really good knife in your hand. Uh, better than that is um, a compact fixed blade where you can just draw it with very, very little um, manipulation and you've got a decent knife in your hand. So for me, the whole point of the balisong uh, escapes me, really. I looked at it years ago. They were in, in, in the gun shop we used to go to. They had some, some balisongs. And I thought it might be a decent knife for um, rescue purposes. You could have it in a sheath on equipment and it's not going to cut you because the, the, the knife, uh, the blade shielded and then you, you could open it and use it. But even then, you, you've got to learn how to manipulate it. If you want to learn how to manipulate the balisong, this is the book for you because it's got page after page after page of techniques, bewildering number of techniques of how to open and, and uh, get it into action. Um, all of which just, to me, um, end up with the same result. You, you end up with a knife in your hand. But while you're doing that, what's the enemy doing? You know, particularly if you're in a close range encounter, entangled, and um, it's an in-fight access situation. Uh, there's a lot of other information in the book on uh, the use targets, uh, striking with, with the closed weapon, um, and then some uh, drills on how, how to use it. Uh, I think that the Balasong has kind of faded from uh, favour. Um, I don't, on, on knife classes that I've taught, I've never had anyone come, turn up with a Balasong. Um, people turn up with a variety of fixed blade and folders. Um, I've never had anyone turn up with a Balasong. Um, I think it's more of a, a martial art thing. People like to, to do it and uh, it's, it's a, a, a manipulative skill uh, which people like to be able to do, which is fine. Not a problem with that. But for practical self-protection with a knife, uh, I see problems with it. Um, so if you're interested in the Balasong, this is certainly the knife, uh, the book for you. Having said that, I, I'm sure that Jeff has done um, videos and DVDs which you'd you, you learn easier from than from a book. Uh, and if you want a Balasong knife, then this spider coat, it's called the Spider Fly, is the one. It's got the belt clip. Um, it positively locks the handles together and uh, it's solid. It's really well designed. For me, I don't really have a use for for the knife. However, it's a contribution to um, the literature on weapons and, and particularly with the Filipino influence, which we will be talking about uh, in more detail.